Today, I'm a very, very happy man. We've got one of the best V8s ever made. This is an Audi RS5, and here's a quick review. Let's roll with the intro. Okay, let's start with the exterior of this car. Now, if you were to tell me that this car was made in 2024 and I didn't know so much about cars, I would believe them. And this car is the ultimate daddy of the Audi 5 series, not 5 series, but compared to the A5 and the S5, this is the ultimate version. And this car does get the Audi RS Honeycomb grill and very, very special daytime running lights. I mean, look at them, they look quite beautiful. And to those of you that don't know what this car is, you get a bad chair which says that it is the RS5 and the RS line is the ultimate sports variant of the Audi lineup and overall I gotta say even from the front you can say that the car looks thicker and meaner and this is the last generation of Audis that look this mean the new ones just look watered down now let's move on to the side okay now at the side there's not much going on you can say that the fenders are wider compared to the A5 or the S5 and the wheels so you get 20 inches in the front and at the back you can get this car as a cabriolet which is the convertible or the sports coupe but honestly i think the coupe looks much better literally much better now you do get brushed alloy side mirrors which is a very very common thing in the audi rs cars it's either brushed alloy or carbon fiber but this gets brushed alloy and that just suits with this car and one cool thing you don't get chrome everything's blacked out now let's move on to the back okay so the back is the favorite bit of the car for me because it's a nice ass for the car now you do get blacked out badges and the blacked out rs badge and one cool thing look at the plate it says rs5 450 so this car produces 450 horsepower that's where the 450 comes from and every rs car has oval exhaust tips even this i almost touched that which is stupid so let's get a diffuse as well for better aerodynamics and a retractable wing this car looks quite beautiful i would say styling wise it's a 9.5 out of 10. it looks so mean now let's move on to the interior starting off with the interior we can see the steering wheel it's the audi flat bottom steering which i prefer when you are driving a vehicle like this and then moving on to the cluster pedal it is the analog version which is which comes with the older vehicles some would say uh, they would debate about the analog and the digital but when you buy a vehicle like this no one actually cares going on to the center console it comes with the stock carbon fiber it comes over here and on the door which is quite nice it's not too much but it speaks class then going on with the badges you got the rs badge on the gear the rs badge on the steering you got it on the class panel as well and you got a quattro badge over here now finally the seats the seats are quite lower compared to the newer rs models it comes with the newer ones come with a higher elevated seat but when you're driving a vehicle like this at the speed you would drive this at this is a good it is a good comfortable seat because the position and the comfortability is just good looking at the back the back room it is quite limited the space because it is a coupe but one good thing is you get its own individual cup holders so that's a plus for whoever's sitting in the back then going on with the sunroof we have a sunroof over here which is quite nice then we finally invested in a coffee cup so you got space for a coffee cup here and then you got bottle space yes we do not have a bottle you got bottle space over there you got a place to keep your sunglasses over here and then you got the normal cubby spaces and the glove box over here okay so let's talk about the tech within this car you get two analog displays and a digital display in the middle you do get your controls here and this is basically how you control your volume now something very cool is the center control now as Gavin mentioned it is carbon fiber you do get a car button which if you click it takes you to your driving settings now you do get four different modes to choose from and dynamic is the sports version that Audi has you do get your heated seat control here and electronic parking brake now if you are trying to do a handbrake turn you can't in this car because well electronic your volume controls and something very very easy is the drive select button so if you click on the drive select button it'll change your mode when you're driving now operating this is much easier compared to operating it from here another tech bit you get bang and elephant speakers and memory controls for your seating engine price and specs of this car so this car 
is a very, very special car due to its engine. Now, I'm just going to pop the bonnet open. It's a moment of truth. Okay. Okay, first try. There you go. This car gets a V8 engine. I'm just going to turn it off because it is loud. Okay, so it produces 450 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque. And this is a very special V8 because they took the Audi R8 V10, took two cylinders off to it, and they were like, let's put it in this car. And it's something special. It is the coolest sounding V8 that we've tested so far. Now, it does get caught to all-wheel drive and a seven-speed dual-clutch gearbox via S-Tronic. And as we all know, Audi gearboxes are the best. Literally the best. And competition, Gavin? So, for its competitors, we've already tested the C63S, which unknowingly we did it. But the next competitor is the M4. Yep. So, if you have an M4, please reach out. We want yeah, to test please it. Please and it'll be quite good because I'm biased to a Audi, but I did love, like the C63S. Let's see. After a drive, let's see our final thoughts on this. Yeah, exactly. Now let's move on to cool features. Yep. And yes, I did miss something. This does get the quattro all-wheel drive system, which is a rear-wheel drive, rear-wheel bias all-wheel drive system. So you get 60% of power here, 40% of power here, and it can go up to 85 at the back and 45 at the front. Zero to 60. How cool is that? Sorry? Zero to 60. Ooh, zero to 60, 4.4 seconds. How amazing. How amazing for a 2016 car. And you'll hear the V8 in a bit. So, cool features now. Okay, cool features about this car. Now, this car does get launch control, but it's very special because you can launch this car at 5,000 RPM. How cool is that? Okay, second coolest feature, the engine bay. I mean, just look at this. Okay, final coolest feature, the way this car sounds. This is Dario. He's the owner of this beautiful, beautiful car. And let's get him to grab it. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm going to leave my mic at the exhaust tip. <laughs> that was... Never gets that old. That was something. Yep. Never gets Never old. Gets old. And it doesn't have a soft limiter. How cool is that for an Audi? Okay, now, now let's look at the nine features of this vehicle. So follow me. The material over here, it's quite poorly made, so it breaks easily. And with the seats over here, it's quite common to the A class and the S mod, S line. So they could have done a different job with it. Also, the cluster panel over there, it's not touchscreen and it is similar. Well, no, it's not similar. It's outdated compared to its competitors. So they could have done a better job with it. And here's another annoying feature about this car. This sunroof, in fact, does not open fully. It's just this small lip that comes up. So they could have done something. Okay, so let's go for a drive in the Audi RS5. We're going to start with acceleration. So I'm going to jump into RS mode and... Okay. The fact that this car revs up to 8300 rpm it's crazy literally crazy and this car yes does get all wheel drive via the control system so that means despite this car having a lot of power it's able to put it down unlike the c63s that we tested now the all wheel drive system it gets 60 at the back and 40 at the front or it can go all the way up to 85 at the back and 15 at the front now cornering so let's test out its suspension it does understeer a bit, but going through corners, it does give you that kind of set, uh, sense of confidence that no other car will give you, thanks to the Quattro system. And we're just gonna test the gearbox out as well. So currently in fourth gear. Third, second. That gearbox, it's absolutely beautiful. And we're just gonna go up third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear and it just hooks so we've got two bikers behind us we'll just let them overtake and they're not gonna do that so i think we'll have to accelerate a little oh no they did and i thought i can drive good anyway so the gearbox on this car back to that point 
it is literally the quickest gearbox i mean it just shifts gears like literally instant so fifth gear sixth gear seventh perfect let's just shift down sixth fifth fourth third how quick is that that is absolutely phenomenal literally phenomenal and when it comes to steering once you are in rs mode the steering does get a bit heavy which is quite good because you do you don't want soft steering while driving it aggressively that gives you well a higher chance of crashing because the steering is a bit too soft and overall driving this car it is just beautiful now we can't go over 6000 rpm in this car because we are on a windy road but that's when this car has its most power and that's when the exhaust sounds absolutely mental but overall i think driving is it's so much more it's safer compared to the c63s that we tested it gives you a sense of confidence that okay here's a corner i'll just put the car through and it just goes so when it comes to being safer or basically having a lot of confidence especially through the corners this does a better job than the c63s because when i was driving the c63s i was a bit worried and yeah that's where i will leave the driving experience is it better than the c63s yes because i think if you if you want to go faster this is it but if you want to slide your tail out that's where the mercedes will outperform this so yeah overall driving 10 out of 10 it's just so special literally so special it's better than the rs3 that we tested well it is rs5 but it's literally something quite beautiful okay final thoughts on the audi rs5 now dario you won this two years now what do you think it's a the car? it's a fantastic car D. Um, the handling you're paying for the handling you're paying paying for the for the quattro yep you know for the quattro. Uh, we've just gone for a rip through the city yeah. through the hills and 100%. um yeah and I reckon it's by really the way good. i did the driving test and i let dario drive i thought i was good but then he literally sent it i was like bro you gotta chill yeah i was saying it's a, it's it's the handling i just said to the boys i said keep calm relax it's a quattro <laughs> <laughs> yes gavin what are your final thoughts on this yeah. Well, um, just like I always tell, if I do go with an Audi, it'll be an RS. So, I mean, and plus, a Quattro and all-wheel drive, it's huge pluses. So, I mean, I would give this vehicle, I would give it a 10 as well. And we rarely do this on our channel, we only give it to the C63S. Uh, I would choose this, so, pros and cons, I would choose this if I'm like fully sending it on hills, curves and everything. Because I don't trust myself on the C63. I would, I can imagine myself being wrapped around a tree. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. What yeah. do you think? Of this? Yes. Now, the debate for me is whether I'm getting this or a C63s. Now, if I'm having more fun drifting around C63s, but I want to go quicker, have more fun around the corners, it's this, unfortunately. So I am biased towards Audi, and even though the C63 was a perfect car, this did it better. Because I think this is just. This is just better when it comes to performance compared to the C63S. So I would be getting this. And yes, like I said before, I drove it, but he literally sent it. He sent it. <laughs> and I, usually when we're driving, I'm not scared at all. I'm like, okay, cool. Someone's driving, I can chill. He drove like, yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he, like, this car gives you a sense of confidence that no other car will give you, thanks to the Quattro system. And yes, it would be a 10 for me. It's perfect. The way it looks, the way it's dated, the exterior, the interior, everything about it. The engine, like literally, when you downshift, there's no better sound on earth. And yeah, that's where I would leave the video. Subscribe. And if you want to buy this car, he will. He's not willing to sell it. If he gets the right price, he might. If it's the right price, I'll sell it. <laughs> yeah, the right price would be around yeah. 85, 90 yeah. Yeah. or more than that. He hasn't given us a price yet because he loves this car. But yeah, that's where we'll leave it. Subscribe. I mean, just look at this guy. It's beautiful. Enjoy your day, guys. Thanks, boys. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, bro. Cheers, boys. Bye now.